Well, a little earlier, I spoke via the internet to someone who's been at those protests. Peter is from the UK, but he's lived in Turkey for 20 years. And I began by asking him why this is happening. I mean, I think it, there's a chain of things that have happened recently. And I think uh, the government's wanted to change the Turkish identity um, and, and to move away from um, the old Ataturk Republic and slowly anything that's kind of to do with uh, the old republic is being swept under the carpet. So they've changed a lot of little things like um, a water pipe smoking, they're restricting it, or, um, you know, for example, one of the things that they wanted to ban was um, reading coffee cups for fortune telling in cafes. They wanted to stop that. And thing, things that sort of were, were, you know, you kind of associate with Turkey, and then alcohol uh, restrictions. There are people who, who worry that, um, you know, oh, maybe tomorrow I'll have to wear a headscarf or, or something. I mean, I don't know. You know, people are a bit suspicious. And where do you think it goes from here? I heard from the television that the uh, police had asked the army to, to support them. Because, I mean, they, because they've got the police centralised there, they don't have police in, for example, this area or in, in, you know, in other parts of this town, but they can't control it all. Obviously, there's a lot of people who are kind of uh, obviously worried because they're creating this kind of atmosphere of fear. In Taksim, it's like a, a, a war zone. That was Peter talking to me from Istanbul a little earlier.